After working out the direction of the forces, it's also important to work out the magnitude of the force. Equation here uh, for the magnitude is as simple as I L B sine theta. Again, don't forget about the sine theta. It's off the nine degrees, but not always, such as in this case, they're giving us an angle of 30 degrees. So roughly drawing it out, you have a power line for a light rail system that carries lots of current because the train needs lots of power to run. So you have a wire that hangs like that. It's got a current. It's got a certain length. And it's at an angle of 30 degrees to Earth's magnetic field. Because it's not always straight down vertical, it points towards wherever the poles are. And as a result, it's going to feel some kind of force. Given this particular diagram, we can of course say, well, my I goes to the left, my B goes sort of downwards, so therefore my force must be into the page or something. But they're not asking for the direction, we're asked for the magnitude. So let's just sub the numbers in here and get the magnitude. Of course, not forgetting our angle. And that gives us 2.5 Newtons. Answer for part A. For part B, they're talking if there's any real concern. Well, if you work this out, this 2.5 Newtons, that's about the weight of, roughly speaking, 250 grams. This is going to be much, much less than, if you imagine, 100 meters of cable. especially one that's thick enough to carry a thousand amp, it's probably too small to make a difference. So really, practically, it's not going to make a huge difference in this case. Just a quick example to show you how to use this formula. 